Good morning, dear students. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and today we are going to learn about the sun. This is the chapter solar system, and we will, in this video, talk about some facts about the sun. The sun is medium-sized star and measures 1,392,000 kilometer across. It's 109 times the diameter of the Earth. Even though the sun is made almost entirely of hydrogen and helium, the lightest gases in the universe, it's, it weighs 2,000 trillion trillion tons, about 300,000 times as much as the Earth. The sun's interior is heated by the nuclear reactions to temperature of 15 million degrees centigrade. The visible surface layer of the sun is called the photosphere. This sea of boiling gas sends out the light and heat we see and feel on Earth. Flames called speckles dart through a thin layer above the photosphere called the chromosphere. Above the chromosphere is the sun's halo like corona. The heat from the sun's interior erupts on the surface in patches called granules and gigantic arcs of hot gases called solar prominences. The sun gets hot because it is so big that the pressure in its core is tremendous, enough to force the nuclei of hydrogen atom to fuse, join together to make helium atoms. This nuclear fusion reaction is like gigantic nuclear bomb and it releases huge amount of energy. Halfway between its core and its surface, the sun is as dense as water. Closer to the surface, it becomes as dense as air. Nuclear fusion reaction in the sun's core convert 5 million tons of gas into energy every second. But the energy takes 10 million years to reach the surface. The temperature of the sun's surface is 6,000 degrees centigrade. Each square centimeter burns with a brightness of 250,000 candles. The sun is a fiery ball of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium, made of several layers. Energy is produced in the central core and very slowly works its way outwards through a thick layer of gas. In the outer layer, the hot gas rises to the surface where heat and light escape into space. Sun spots, dark spots on the sun sun's photosphere or you can say surface are called sun spots they are 1500 degree centigrade cooler than the rest of the surface the dark center of the sun spot is the umbra the coolest part of a sun spot around it is the lighter nimbra Sunspots appear in groups that seem to move across the sun. 
sun over two weeks as the sun rotates. Small individual sunspots may last less than a day. The number of sunspots reaches a maximum every 11 years. This is called the solar or sunspot cycle. The next sunspot maximum will be around 2011. This happened in 2011. The Earth's weather may be warmer and stormier when sunspots are at their maximum. Long-term sunspot cycles last between 80 and 200 years. Observations of the sun by satellites such as Nimbus 7 showed that less heat reaches the Earth from the sun when sunspots are at a minimum. So this is an infrared photograph reveals the dark spots that appears on the surface of the sun. The SOHO satellite has probed beneath sunspots to reveal a whirlpool of sinking gases. Solar flares, solar eruptions. So solar flares are sudden eruption on the sun's surface they flare up in just a few minutes, then take more than half an hour to die away again. Solar flares reach temperature, reach temperature of 10 million degrees centigrade and have the energy of billions of nuclear explosions. They not only send out heat and radiation, but also stream of charged particles. The solar wind is the steam of charged particles that shoots out from the sun in all directions at speeds of over 1 million kilometers per hour. It reaches the earth in several days, but also blows far throughout the solar system. Every second, the solar wind carries away over 1 million ton of charged particles from the sun. Earth is shielded from the lethal effect of the solar wind by its magnetic field. Solar prominences are gigantic arcs of hot hydrogen that sometimes spout out from the sun. Solar prominences reach temperature of 10,000 degrees centigrade. Coronal mass ejections are gigantic eruption of charged particles from the sun, creating gusts in the solar wind that sets off magnetic storm on Earth. Magnetic storms are massive hails of charged particles that hit the Earth every few years or so, setting the atmosphere buzzing with electricity. Solar changes. The sun is about 4.6 billion years old and halfway through its life. As a medium-sized star, it will probably live for around 11 billion years. Over the next few billion years, the sun will brighten and swell until it is twice as bright and 50% bigger. In 5 billion years, the sun's hydrogen fuel will have burnt out and its core will start to shrink. As its core shrinks, the rest of the sun will swell and its surface will become cooler and redder and it will be a red giant star. The earth will have burned out long before the sun is big enough to completely swallow it. The sun will end as a white dwarf. Between 1645 and 1750, very few sunspots were seen on the sun called the Monder Minimum. At that time, there was the little ice age on the earth due to less heat from the sun. More, 
more of the chemical carbon-14 is made on Earth when the sun is less active. The carbon-14 is absorbed by trees, which means scientists can work out changes in the solar activity in the past by measuring carbon-14 in old wood. The SOHO Space Observatory is stationed between the Earth and the sun, monitoring the sun and the changes in the solar activity. So, the sun seems to burn steadily in the short term, its brightness does seem to vary very slightly all the time. And over the next 5 billion years, it will probably burn more furiously. So, uh, my dear students, uh, this was about the sun. And the most important thing in uh, we, is this, the solar changes. That, that question came in the specimen paper for the 2013 examination. And I hope you have learned. You see, this is uh, the sun. And this is total kind of information. And I, I advise you to watch more and more videos on the YouTube about the solar system, about the sun, so that you can master this concept. This is a small effort um, in which we want uh, to provide some literature to our students of the O-levels on the solar system. So thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day. God bless you all.